Charlie. one of the best carries. Who I, I think you're good. It's the tiny. It's well. good mid game, but it's not good in lane. It's good late game. It's like, very good late game. That is true. Yeah, but what if they punish weakness. you for this? Like how they have? I any... mean, gyro dazzle, or even just like any heroes in your lane against Sark, you can test because Sark is such a bad laner. He gives you IO though. He has such sustain. If they go like yeah, gyro dazzle, don't you just go defensive try? Gentlemen, it's time. I suppose you could. I, Who's I think, gonna win? Now did you see the draft? I think four seals line up will win. Shane? Well, let everyone go first. Hmm. Got a bandwagon so hard. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. If I have to choose, I think uh, four clovers because of what I said with the experience before and all that and the draft. So. I think four clovers is gonna win. But I'm gonna go with no logic gaming. That was that no logic. Big big boom. Got it. Wow. Oh, the draft makes no logic. They actually won with uh, Bane safe lane uh, farming that yeah, game, but they run the Bane as it were. We're gonna find out who's actually gonna take this uh, first game of the series. It is time uh, for our commentators to take over. Odie Pixel and uh, Lumi, take it away. Indeed, welcome back to the casting panel. I'm Odie Pixel, and I'm here with a man known to some as Lumi. It is Lumi, and the game has begun. So let's get ourselves in. Game one here at the final series of the day. Four Clovers versus the side of No Logic Gaming. And Lumi, normally we have a chance to hear inside on the drafts over on the panel, but this time you're casting, and you've not had a chance to say anything. What are you thinking about the hero pickups today from these two sides? I like 4CL's draft much better as well. They have this run at you lineup, and right now NLG, they need a ton of items on their supports to make sure they don't die. More importantly, although, uh, sing, or sorry, not sing, sing. Sexy Bamboo has a 75% win rate on Tiny. Okay. He is uh, very good. I believe he was also featured in one other Dream League game where all he did that game was got a Blink Dagger, got a Force F, and he just looked to blow up the Wisp. And I think that's what's going to happen this game here. Spartan's going to have a very tough time. He plays an amazing Wisp, but Bamboo is going to blink right on top of you and give you the good old Avatars combo. Okay, and in, in terms of kind of talking about No Logic Gaming's uh, lineup, the fact that they did go for that final pick slark. I mean, do you feel that that was something that they were looking towards the throughout begins. the draft, or was that something that they were forced into? I think they were forced into it. Uh, the couch talked about how a gyrocopter would have fit, and I thought gyrocopter would have been the amazing pick. But now that uh, it's been denied, slark is probably the only core they could have went for that could survive and fight early aggressively. So Madara, to me, has to play out of his mind, and so far his performance in Dream League. Has not been that, so we'll see if he uh, could kind of step it up here today. Okay, I mean, in terms of uh, this mid lane matchup, of course, Excalibur versus Nikwa, the Quap versus the Wing Ranger. What do you reckon we're going to see? What's your predictions in terms of who's going to come out on top here in this lane? I don't think we're going to see Excalibur go for that amazing early game domination that he did earlier, uh, as we see a, a TP already happening here. So, are we going to see a lane switch up top? No, there's going to be a glitch. Kill, yeah, bringing Pycat back into it. They've got the pass off Matter. EGM will find the crush now. Spartan, he's shot in the fray as well. Matter continues to hit that, find themselves the first kill. And now the body blocks here from the IO. They're trying to control EGM. He's going to get the crush out again for a second time. And he'll be able to get himself out of there. But first, we're going to the side of No Logic Gaming and the TP working out for them. All right, suddenly four people top. I wonder if, uh, well, who's going to TP away here? I guess the Slark is going to give you that 1v1 matchup on the bottom. But your early question was, who's going to do well in the uh, mid lane? Yes. I think it's going to be a wash. Okay. Right now, the Nico are leading a lot in terms of the CS. Well, top lane, yeah. Matter is going to lead this one, head himself back towards the bottom. And uh, Saxy just moving in, forcing Mitch back around the bane. EGM trying to see if he can get in close for the crush. Mitch has got to be careful of his positioning here. EGM he wants to try and find it, but he can't quite do it. Bane just playing with him at the moment. Has a creep wave moving in here. And we'll see if four clovers do decide to move forward. Pycat, he wants to try and find a barrage, but Io is there. He's closing in. I see him going for the work here with the rocket barrage, just forcing Mitch and Spartan right back. And a lot of aggression coming out for the side of four clovers bottom lane. Get the glimpse here onto Sexy Bamboo, Milan and Madara trying to do what they can. But with the way that the lanes have now switched up, do you feel this is favoring no logic gaming? The fact that they're going to have a bit of an easier time getting the farm on the slot down here. I think so, and more importantly, I don't think their heroes would die. Bane, to me, is one of the deceptively kind of uh, tanky heroes in the early stage of the game. He's got four base armor with the boots first, and now a magic stick. He should be able to withstand the top lane. And more importantly, also on the bottom lane, Disruptor is able to get essentially dual support experience, be able to harass and zone sexy bamboo out of lane. Now I like NLG's lane, lane's much better. Okay, okay. I mean, EGM again on the top, just looking for the wrap around here on the slot. I mean, has got himself a haste. He's still just level one though, 16 seconds before the glimpse is back and available. 
We'll see Mitch. And he might be in trouble here. You can see GM trying to look for the crush. Mitch will pop out the Bane and it's going to get toggled off nicely. Done it by four clovers of Lang. It's close to gap at his spot and with his balls trying to turn it around. Tags against the healer. The Bane's out from Mitch. Getting the Dazzle to force, force back down the lane. And Pycat not quite being able to do the damage that he wanted to with that rocket barrage. So still nonetheless. Lots of uh, oh, people looking for fights in mid lane. Excalibur, he's going to find himself. Oh, no, he's not. He's got the bolt charges and equipped, but pushing him very close to the edge of his life there. Excalibur will be able to force back the Wind Ranger, which he needs to do, because at the moment, Nequest still coming out and top in terms of CS on that lane. Yeah, with uh, Nico being forced back, Excalibur could catch up a bit. Uh, the reason that Force CL can't get kills up top is that Bane's got boots of speed. Yes. And the Gyro does not. So until Pycat picks one up on the side shop, I don't think these uh, Rocket Barrage dive will work out. He also could have gotten a point in the homing missile, maybe because it, it's a trialing setup. You can kind of uh, slow them down enough where the, your nukes eventually will catch up, but he's gone for the uh, standard flat cannon build instead. Right, it's going to be level 3 now. We'll see if he puts that second point into the barrage. you got EGM trying to catch out Spartan, and he will here with the crush. Spartan will be able to tether himself across, and now he's done exactly what you said of the gyro. Third point goes into the missile. Sends it the way of the eye of forcing back Spartan on the top lane. Just going to maybe leave the uh, Bane a little bit more exposed here against this tri lane. We'll see if they're able to do anything off the back of the fact that Mitch is now alone. We're going to see Saxon, Pycat moving in, just forcing him back. Mitch is going to have to play a little bit more safe as Spartan's got to go all the way back to base here. There's going to be an Invis being picked up here by Nico on his Wind Ranger, so we'll see if uh, he decides to hold on to that one. It looks like he will for the time being. Wait until uh, is a time of need, but so the moment 1 0 for the side of NLG. And uh, in terms of farm slot, he is doing pretty well on the bottom lane, top of the CS at the moment. And he needs to do very well. Uh, I imagine we're going to see a fairly aggressive item build. And speaking of aggression, it looks like we're going to see a TP on the bottom lane. Sexy Babble gets caught here by the kinetic field. They're going to make that dive toss away. And uh, well, there's a glimpse back as well. So round two, Madeira looking for the pounce. He is uh, trying to get it. He misses. Oh. Now it's going to go for Saxa. Here comes the tether slow. Can we get the kill? here no grave there is a beat grave Saxa gets to walk away the toss back to the range creep but a couple more right clicks will get the job done kind of a roller coaster on this bottom lane but uh looks like the tp in from the bottom lane uh, has been successful for NLG. Damn, top lane we're gonna see four clubs maybe look for seven in return they'll put out the crush here just be the nightmare to pike out holding him back he's gonna get toggled off let's see if mitch could do anything he's trying to move forward with a rocket oh. Oh, pike out. okay there we go they'll find themselves to kill there with a the brain sap and mitch well, wow. he's just showing it some to the side of four clovers. Not quite expecting that amount of burst. The bottom lane, NLG moving forward. Madara, maybe seeing if he can find the jump. Ooh. Can't, can't get the match on here. Now with the slow, he's got the dark power ready. Just in case there's an avalanche coming out, it comes out now, but it's too late. NLG already finding themselves the kill. Pycat's actually TP down to this bottom lane now. So we may once again see further lane switching up between the two sides. So NLG is doing very well on the laning stage, but as the uh, couch kind of talked about, they need to do well on the laning stage. So with the draft, uh, to me favoring 4CL, the lanes favoring LNG, I think this game is somewhat even now. Mitch though, obviously doing amazing top lane, now almost hitting level 6. I imagine once he does get to level 6, he'll grab a smoke and start using that first Fiend's Grip uh, to set up some ganks across the map. As we can see in the Raiding Jungle, Milan. Middle. And Spartan coming across towards the mid lane. Milan's going to be a bit careful here because he's going to potentially walk into a couple of the members of the side of four clovers. There's a very scared oh. Milan. You do. Mm -hmm. I think he's all right. I don't think they've. Oh, oh no, he's, he's not, not right. all right at all. Bambo finds himself a free kill there. Says so Spartan nearly getting caught out as well by the side of four clovers. Tower oh, shot the tower. Is he not? No, it's not. Wasn't quite going for it anyway. It was uh, aggro towards the crop. Uh, Full Clovers getting themselves a kill on the board after a very aggressive warding trip there from the Disruption. They were surely get dewarded as well as the pings did come out there from Full Clovers. So they're well aware what the Disruption was up to. And uh, Spartan, well, he's walks into a, an angry fish and the fish will give him a, a wet slap. Excalibur comes in with a scream, but Bambo's there with the avalanche. He's got a toss as well. The kinetic field has been popped down. They've got the crush, the control from each other, the power shot. They'll take down the core before Excalibur can blink away. And four Clovers bring themselves back into this one, getting themselves three kills on the board and, and closing that gap, that advantage that NLG had got in the first five minutes of the game. More importantly, EGM was in the experience range for all three kills. He was level two as he exited the base, and now he's level five. So, it, uh, Slaughter getting that quick level six is going to be very, very important. Meanwhile, Mitch has uh, kind of meandered his way back to the bottom lane, unable to find a gyro kill that he was going for. 
but he's now uh, kind of setting up shop here to farm. I imagine the first item he's going to go for is either some sort of like defensive item, like a glimmer cape or a okay. force staff, because uh, things like uh, a tiny coming onto your team, uh, you need some way to protect yourself or your allies. Yeah, absolutely. I won't be surprised if we see that come out at all from Mitch. And so about the tiny, Bambo's going to return back to this bottom lane here. Mitch heading out into the sidelines. And top lane still just downs along his own, finding some solo XP. Let's see if... Uh, See where the next bit of action goes down. You got Phase Boost now and Pycat's Gyrocopter. Top lane, and Nico looking for the 8 minute rune. Milan is there. And he's going to throw down the kinetic field here. Saxon turns up an out. Focus, right? They just turn onto Milan here. Power shot as well. They get this, uh, the job done. Nico seals the deal there on the Wind Ranger. Excalibur does have a Sonic Wave. Yeah, it's not really quite got the mana for the full blink in and the 1 2 3 combo. Now he does. Spartans topping him back up. Mitch is there. Smoked up. Really wanting to use the Fiend's Grip to see if they can find a pick off here in this mid lane. They're using Excalibur as the bait. The four Clovers, they do have four heroes towards this mid lane. Yeah, four CL has seen the invis being picked up by the Observer on the bottom lane, so they're not going to get mm -hmm. caught out here. Um, to me though, it's four CL has been playing a lot better in the last two minutes or so. Consider that Mitch has hit level six, but he's unable to find a single Radiant's gank. It looks like he's going to get that bottom war killed. But yeah, 4CL playing very well, dodging the ganks. It looks like they're going to set up one on the mid lane, looking for that toss-crush combo. Yeah, let's have a look at it, guy. Okie dokie, you know, the blink's there in time, Excalibur. He's, uh, did have the chance to get himself out before the crush came down. And, uh, at the moment, how's our Slark looking for the side of NLG? He's yeah. got a hand of Midas. Okay. I mean, uh, we sometimes, we don't always see Slarks go for the Midas, but are you liking it in this kind of matchup between these two sides, Midas being the item for Metal? Yeah, he definitely needs a level. If you look at him, he's maxed the uh, Dark Pack, okay. but if, when you're looking to fight, you definitely want to max your Pounce as well. Mid lane, Nico came a bit too close for comfort there. They've got the Fiend's Grip onto the Wind Ranger. Yeah, he's going to look to try and get himself out of this one, but no, he's not going to be able to. Yeah, there's a Mitch getting himself a killing spree, forcing back. Saxo as well. Mitch trying to set this one up potentially if he can close the gap, but he can't. Pete's coming out on the sidelines here. The EGM is looking for an opening. There's a homing missile and amplifying now laid down onto Spartan. Let's see if four clovers can capitalize on this one, but it looks like they'll have to just let Spartan let, let, leave him alone and, and let him get away here as they don't really want to go across the river. But yeah, the Midas on the slot. Yeah, the reason that uh, NLG right now is playing so aggressive is that they recognize they can yeah. before the gyro hits 6. Once gyro get, copy gets called down, they cannot make those tier 1 tower dives anymore. So they're going to constantly check on that uh, menu bar to make sure that gyro is not 6. And I mentioned earlier, uh, before the fight broke out, that Madara needs to max his pounce before he could take, really take fights. And the Midas will really help out with that. Top lane Bama needs to be careful here. There are three heroes. And he's, he's playing it safer. They get the vision for a glimpse or such. They could certainly follow through. He's got the backup of EGM on the slider. And they may just look to go for something themselves. If they can get their toss combo out once someone has squished his Milan, it's going to be a very easy pick off. The Bama will just look to force the lane in first. And he's just going to give a cheeky toss there with the creeps, clearing out the trees here. Looks like they won't quite make a jump. NLG, in fact, they've grouped up in their own jungle, three of them. We'll see what their plan of action is, Spartan. Hasn't quite hit that level 6 on the iron. They're going to just start, start to move in. They're trying to find the range here for the Nightmare, but Mitch can't quite get close enough. Two seconds until Fiend's group up as well. Excalibur, he'll go straight into Bamba. Bamba tries to turn around with the combo, bringing Excalibur incredibly low. Bamba will get a glimpse back into the field here now. They turn up with the full five man. NLG find themselves another kill on the board, taking down Bamba's tiny. There's going to be space, of course, around the rest of the map yeah. off the back of that five-man rotation from NLG for heroes like Pycat to find a bit of farm in the mid lane. Saxo and Nikwa going to get a bit of action going on the bottom, forcing out the fortification. That man's the only one here to defend at the moment. Needs to be careful. A stray shackle shot could end his life. And he's going to come out quite boldly here. And top lane, it's going to be where NLG are looking to just push as a, as a full four-man group. Milan on the bottom lane might be a little bit trouble here. TP is going to come in. Suddenly Saxa. Oh, actually, TP gets cancelled. Maybe it got cancelled on the top lane. Suddenly now, Saxa giving the dive here to Milan. Milan trying to juke for his best. Meanwhile, top lane here, another big fight breaks out. I'm not exactly sure which one to look at. Milan still juking back and forth. It's a two man shackle shot on the bottom lane. Milan dropping very low. He's going to die to a right, but Meanwhile, Mitch is going to get up on Nico. He's calling for a TP's. A TP's going to come in on the side of a Queen of Pain. No, it's going to be a Madara. Nico out of mana completely. Can we get a nightmare? He gets shooked, he gets fogged, and finally we are gonna see an easy pounce being lashed up here. Nico will go down. Top lane chase All is still right. going on. Rocket on Excalibur. Uh, he'll blink away.
Yeah, it's gotta be about Asia's just top and bottom. Fight's kicking off. So I personally did not watch the top lane. What exactly happened there? I was watching, we were watching both lanes there on this screen. It was all over the place, man. He should be fine here. But I think overall, favoring the side of NLG, the fact that we look at the net worth and it is still this, uh, this lark at the top. I'm with the glimpse on TGM. Pulling okay. out to high ground. They trap him in the statics from the kinetic field. Now Madara coming back in with the help of the IO. It's a killing screen out for the Slark, and that definitely cements uh, NLG in a position where they're going to be very happy with that last minute of action. Yeah, not only did they get the tier 1 top, they also yeah. defended their own tier 1. So overall, huge advantage for NLG. And uh, more importantly, oh, Tiny on the mid lane. Is he going to grab a solo kill? Easy Avatar's combo. That will help his blink dagger timing. And he definitely needs a blink to uh, help his team fight. Yeah, absolutely. Then the blink time is going to be huge here for Bambo. We've seen before what he can do once he gets in online at a reasonable time. It's going to be a bit later than we've seen him do it in previous matches. And still this slot becoming the ever, ever growing issue here for the side of four Clovers. Matter halfway through level 10. 1k gold now on top of the Midas. And 6k in the overall net worth. 1k ahead. Off the Wind Ranger and, and a good 2.2 ahead of Pie Catch Gyrocopter, which is starting to fall behind a bit in terms of net worth. Nico is going to just look for any type of shackle. Yeah. And that will be the kill. He's, uh, where's the shackle? Shackle looks like it's going to get blinked and that will be it. Bottom lane relocates coming in right now here. Sexy Bamboo is going to get nightmared. And oh boy, he is absolutely dead. But Nico on the side of the tree, they want him first. They will get him. Sexy Bamboo looking for a toss back. Sexy Bamboo is going to get him back into the bosom of five NLG hero. Two kill for NLG and right back to farm they go on top lane. Yeah, a really sweet setup there with the relocate. The Dyer's fact that the Bane was left right and center getting a nightmare out on one and the fuse grip on the other. We're seeing the strength of NLG's draft there in top lane. They might find more. Saxa is very, very deep here. And I think Madara is going to try and look for the kill. And he uh, should be able to get it. He's got the back of the spot and Saxa. Oh, he's got the cooldown coming in from okay. Madara needs to be careful. Gets the shadow dance off. Now it's a question of whether he can find himself going back in. He's going to look for the CP out. Pycat, they don't have the damage to take him down. So Pycat gets out. But the cooldown, not quite enough to do enough about this slot. And another kill that Madara has found himself involved in. So even though we did see kind of the greedier build with the Midas, this slot has been very active, very involved, and it's really paying off for the lineup of NLG. Yeah, he can get, uh, he can be greedy because he has a Wisp helping him Ooh. out, Excalibur. Can we, uh... And they get, uh, this is a smoke up from the two of them. And, uh, yeah, that, uh, I don't think they're going to be able to find anything here, Bamboo and EGM. They have to get themselves out on bottom lane. They've got the glitters back onto Nico. Mitch is there as well. There is Shackle onto Milan. Where's the TP? They have got a static storm if they want to use it here. And, well, the kinetic field coming out, unfortunately, a little bit too late. The we drop down onto Mitch. Nico's starting to move in. The Courier's in the fight as well. Got to micro that one. Oh, Mitch. Okay, he's in trouble. EGM's there with the crush, with the amplifier. They'll turn up. Cooldown's there as well, just in case Mitch tries to get himself down. And that's going to be Wind Ranger ending the streak and more money in the bank for Nico there. Hiding in the trees. And now he's there. Ooh. Back up's coming. Here's your relocate. Okay. Just spawn on his own. All right. I think he's <laughs> maybe hoping for the re-relocate out to save the uh, Disruptor, but he gets shackled. And now Milan, he may just go down as well. So I'm hoping himself flying his way across the map. I'll drop the kinetic field here. He should die to the missile. What level's this missile? Is it more than one? Has he been maxing it? No, it's only level one missile. I think he's fine. But he's ran such a far distance. Oh, power oh, shot. Power shot will do the job, though. <laughs> and meanwhile, that courier is still on the bottom lane. Looks like he's going to get micro back now. <laughs> it is a uh, clowny mid-game here. It certainly is. 13 to 10, 16 yeah. minutes in. It's uh, kind of between the, the carrying potential of the Slark and the Moon Ranger fills at the moment. Both being the two heroes at the top. Bambo. Oh. Oh, they're not going to look for him. No. Oh, yeah, they are. There we go. The pings come out of the fan in the booth. It's all Okay. The there. And okay. Uh, he cancels that one. And, oh, Bambo. No, he can't get himself out of that. They'll find themselves the kill pain to pick that one up. But another one yet again that Slark's involved in. More money here for the little fishy fellow. 7.7k. Uh, what's he actually picked up on top of the Midas now? It's like, what was he? He's got a blink dagger. Oh, you're going for the blink dagger. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Is under attack. I personally think the Shadow Blade might be a little bit better because later on you could upgrade to Silver Edge and kind of get rid of the craggy exterior that Tiny has. Yeah. yeah. But he's got such a level advantage that I think he's going to not really worry about too much of that regard. Also, if we want to compare off lanes, our Mitch Bane is 8 1 and 1 and looking to build towards a BKB. And our tiny is two and five as nothing. So, Mitch has right. uh, really have a, a much better impact than Sexy Bambo so far. Yeah, Mitch has been doing some great stuff on this bane as they talk about the draft. It's something that we've seen before from NLG. And they're pulling it off quite nicely here. 
That's still very close between the teams, 14-10. Pycat starting to catch back up in terms of farm, but he's he's got quite a way to go until he's on the same level as his Slark, and it's going to be hard to catch up a Slark with a Midas and a Slark that has been as active as Madara has been. Mid lane, where's the relocate? Okay, towards the top. Looking for the relocate, he's trying to sack set. He's going over the CP out, and well, he might just get himself away, will they? They don't have any control to stop him to cancel the channel, so the relocate gang uh, going unfavorably there for the side of NLG, and, and it's a relocate wasted. I think it's okay for NLG to go for these ganks, even if they work, it don't work out, because four CLs trying to farm themselves back in the game. I talked about Tiny needing item, Niqua definitely needs item, same thing with the Gyrocopter, so. Ooh, bottom moon, bottom moon. Oh, grip! Let's have a look. Yeah, grip. Strong to Nico. He has an invis in this bottle, so you gotta burst him down uh, quick. Nico? So, yeah, Nico's bursted down. They've got the job done. Milan will get taken down in return by the cooldown. EGM's trying to chase this here with Pycat. Mitch pops the Nightmare, holding back the Slardar. Sonic Wave onto three. But now with the shots forward, they'll get the Slardar crush out. Bambo will get taken down by Madero. So it's a two for two at the moment. Pycat looks for the TPA. He will make it. I don't know if EGM's gonna be as lucky. He's trying to trick this one out through the tree. Man, if they got anything to cast the TP, they don't. And uh, they will be able to get themselves out of So I guess but one of the weaknesses of NRG's draft in the sense that what they're relying on pretty much just the glimpse and uh, all, the, all the pain to be around. Right. And without those two heroes, you're going to be able to TP away every time. And we do see multiple like rave TPs being committed. Yeah. So uh, for that fight though, I think NRG again happy with the exchange. They killed the Wind Ranger, they killed the Tiny, the two cores of 4 CL, and they gave away a Disruptor Bane. It's not a big deal. And now Madara, I talked about how, how earlier in the Dream League he hasn't had a great Slark game. He's having an amazing Slark game now. Well, I say that and he just dies. Cast his curse yeah. there, Yeah, yeah. That's, and that's a big kill, Tiny. That's a Mega Street yeah. kill. He, he's got a blink now, so... Damn! Sexy Bamboo's back. Sax is trying to, trying to go for Scum here. He's got the backup of EGM and Pie Cat. Excalibur. Oh, he's going to blink forward for the kill and he'll find it. We'll probably need to find the pickup onto the Dazzle. EGM, still playing fancy footwork here with Excalibur, Pycat, did manage to get the tower there, in the mid lane, EGM, just playing around with him here, Excalibur blinks back up to his own half of the map, and Jay, as you said, I mean still, it, nonetheless, even though he gives away that kill, he's having a good time in the middle, Bambo, he's really coming online now, we talked about when he gets the blink, how he's going to turn it around, and okay, turning around the turnaround, there's your Fiend's grip onto Bambo, we'll get cancelled by the Shackle Shot, but not in time to save the Tiny, Nico trying to do his best there to save Bamba. That's a power shot for 18 to 14. So 20 minutes in. It still feels close, but would you still say it's NLG in a happier position because of the slot? No, I, I think that I once 4CO has uh, gone for the blink dagger, they, okay. they are to me in the lead. Like okay. the goal chart says 0 0, but 4CO has a better lineup going towards the late game, unless the slot gets completely out of control. So far, he is kind of en route, but uh, I think. For the next 15 minutes, they could still kill Madara if they have the tiny combo. Yes. Uh, the next goal for 4CL is to give farm to the slaughter. It's much more impressive when the tiny blinks in that your slaughter also joining uh, in with the blink. So, EGM should get should get farm priority right now. Okay, we'll see what energy can find. Hit Swart and was just moving across towards the mid. The ping's coming out of the mid lane and Svambo. He's ready to go straight up with the 1-2 combo to Milan. No way that he's going to be able to walk that one off. Disruptor gets taken down. There's now an Ax picked up here by Excalibur on the quad. So something else that four clovers have to be careful of. And there is a fair, there's a little bit of wombo combo on the side of energy. If they get the, of course, the multi-man kinetic fills, static storms into sonic waves. It's still a bit scary for the side of four clovers, especially when, I mean, BKBs are only coming out anytime soon for any of the cores. I mean, Pika, what's he doing in the moment on the gyrocopter? He's working towards SMY. SMY. And he's got phase as well as helm. So it ain't bad for him, considering that his uh, early start has not been impressive. Top lane, four Clovers. And we're going to see if they can find this tier one. At the same time, though, it's going to be a trade that's almost certainly will favor NLG if they find this. They're looking for a tier two on the bottom lane. Yeah. Right now, 4CL has much more option to play. Minutes ago, they could only just farm, dodge NLG and farm. But now, they could actually exert pressure over the map with their Tiny, which is kind of meandering through the enemy jungle. And uh, the EGM is also kind of looking to join here. Any support gets randomly picked up is going to just die. And I would consider Bane as a support in this stage of the game. Uh, mm. If you get Avatars, you're dead. This smoke is not going to work out there. Excalibur realizes he's got to get himself out as he gets dispelled from the high ground. Just positioning of four clovers. 
And uh, Manu as well, so they're very close to picking up the Scardi here on the man. he has got the Orb of Venom on the Courier. Uh, he just needs to get that final, final 1k gold and left the point booster on top of the second ultimate orb. And there's a Blink Dagger now on Nico. so something else to help catch out these heroes, like the Slart, you already talked about the Blink Tiny. Um, Slart, how's EGM doing on his way to... to potential he's got 1800 gold, blink. he's very close, yeah. Crushing some neutrals on the top lane, he's, he's getting there. And then, I mean, as you, know, as you said, having triple Blink, that's exactly what you need to punish these picks like the Slarder, just uh, sorry, like the Slark, and, and just catching him out at this stage of the game. And also just Excalibur, if you can get the lockdown to, to start off the crushes and, and the yeah. shackles. I mean, Slark, oh, oh initiation, he finds the Wisp, and he's dead. And he's well, it's, I mean, Wisp is actually going to buy back here. I guess they're hanging around, there's a cooldown coming out, he's going to hit onto three with a power shot as well. Also, oh. they incredibly low energy, but it doesn't look like there's anyone on the side of four clovers who can get themselves in there to finish it off, so... They find the kill on Aya, but they do lose the Tiny. It, they did use the buyback here on Spartan, but I think NLG will be happy that they managed to take Bambo's life for that. Yeah, the, the big difference is that 4CL is able to split up and farm while getting these kind of one-for-one one, uh, one, for one pick -offs, whereas NLG really has to respawn by the whole team. So as this game drags on a bit, I think 4CL will climb ahead in terms of the net worth graph. Okay. And they, they have been doing so for the past... Uh, you know, 10 minutes or so, given the fact that Slark even has a Midas. So NLG somehow needs to catch up on the farming game, and honestly, they, their heroes are not really well equipped for doing that. And there's that blink, so I'd like to see a, a massive smoke gank from 4CL once they have uh, the Tiny back. Yeah, let's see what if that is going to be the plan. As, uh, and also worth noting as well, Tiny's close singing on the 4 stuff. That is just Scardy now, complete by Madara on this slot. So getting scary and scary, and he's had a pretty good game so far. Six kills, seven assists, only died the once. Almost flawless performance here on the slot. And it's all about the plays that the four clubs are going to be looking to make before these blinks. Roshan, still yet to be taken by one of these two teams. BKB, he's just spent, what, 1,100 gold away from it. Mitch, he needs that Mithra Hammer. There's a Hayes Street. That's a four clovers. I know that NLG are going to be looking for this potentially as the Helm of the Dominator creep from Pycat scouts out this action. Actually, Pycat's looking to max out his uh, homing missile. Okay. Which yeah, sometimes is... we see those stats being prioritized. Yeah, he understands that the way that their team generally plays mm -hmm. is that the Tiny likes to re-engage over and over again. And uh, by leveling up the homing missile, it reduces the cooldown where you can even get off like 2 to 3 homing missile per fight. And against heroes like Bane and Disruptor, it's very annoying for them to have to constantly run away from a missile. And he's just smoking fat from NLG first. Ah, Mitch, okay. nice things good to leave this up, and there's your follow through Sonic Wave as well. They're fine, Pycat, Static Storm's been laid down. No one else there in the vicinity, and now the crush, the blink initiation from Bambo, trying to find more. Mitch, he's going to be fine, first time I'm out to EGM. Shelby gets the slot after the slot on his slot, trying to work. Fish versus fish action, they put the Shelby grave on EGM. He'll look for the TPA, he's going to be able to make it the going thing to stop, but they haven't. Nightmare have already been used, it's so hard, but Fiend's group with Shelby, being fought very aggressively. Shackle shot won't latch, you has got to be careful there, because the matter is there. Jumping forward, won't quite Tiny find the Tiny coming match. from the back line, he's behind enemy Ooh. rivers, he blinks up with here, will not find Excalibur. He does not have the force staff complete, so that should be it in terms of the engagement. And um, Bama maybe need to be a bit careful here, because a glimpse is going to come out. Oh. And Matter is just going to jump straight on him. Bamba looking for the one-two combo, bringing them low, not low enough. There's just Sonic Wave again from Excalibur. The Nightmare set up onto EGM as Matter moves in. He's looking for more on the slot. The Shallow Grave comes out once more from Saxo. He gets up the Weave as well. I don't think he's going to be able to save EGM this time anyway. The funny jam and Matter blinks forward. He wants more. He wants blood, and he's going to get Nikra as well as off the back of this fight. And Pycat just left to get himself out of there with the Dazzle. And very nicely played there by NLG. And this slot just jumping all over the fight and being involved in every kill. Oh, they're going to lose back Saxo. Yeah, he's dead. Well, there's going to be a call down hitting everybody here. Madara's going to fight under a T2 and a call down. Looks like the Dazzle Grave will not save the Dazzle Madara. He's down to about half HP. Tiny is back in 15. Is there going to be a buyback and TP to the tier 1? I, I think this is time to put I mean, Madara, he's got 27 SE shifts out at the moment. This man is certainly going to be punching. Uh, he's trying to juke, uh, actually be able to juke it out as the range here is uh, able to take down the missile. There's a TP oh, in from the Tiny, but he's going to just get glimpsed back. In fact, oh, they're going to the 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 and they can't glimpse him, at least Bambo. not yet. Alright, Bambo, he is going to be okay. Uh, oh, he's thinking about down. having more. You know this man's thinking oh, about having more. The crush will hit Avatar on Madeira. Madeira is fine for now. He's very tanky, but Pycat's coming in here as well. 
Yeah, Mando's got to be careful. Fairly low at the moment. He's got some of that regen kicking him. And he will back off. That's your BKB now done on Bane. But still matter. 15k net worth. What's he, what's he doing on top of the Scardy on the slot? Because he managed to wreck up anything else. Let's have a look. Uh, 3k. I mean, what does he go for next here? Does he need a BKB this game? Or can he afford to avoid that and look, look to build more into the damage? He could go for an MKB for the Wind Ranger. Because obviously she does have to win them. You could go for the BKB, and that's kind of the ultra safe build. I personally like Basher because yes. he has no trouble surviving in these fights. He's so tanky. I like them to see him uh, be a little bit more aggressive. But looks like he's going to pick up a demon edge perhaps from the side shot. Well, he's thinking about it. Let's have a look towards Roshan first for the moment. Yeah, Matter would love to fill up that final slot there with an Aegis. And with the backup of the rest of the side of NOG. It looks like they've got a good shot at taking this one. Four Clover's not really in the district to, to try and contest. They have got Bambo around. The question is, does Bambo want to look for a Bambo play, and does he know that this is going on? No, oh, Bambo always want to look for a Bambo play. Bambo. Is he going to do it? <laughs> is he going to? <laughs> this is the Bambo this play. This is the Bambo. Okay, Pycat walks in, it's a nice cooldown to set this one up. Pycat has already come out from mission, they get a fuse grip out onto Gyrocopter. Static Storm's laid down as well, the Shadow Grave is there just in time, Bambo comes in the pit. Oh look, he tosses it off to high grab, but Mado, he bounces back down here, looks good to go to Roshan, and Mado should be able to find it, he will. The Lanzi could have lived, but Mado's already picked up the Aegis, they do lose the Disruptor, but now Mado is going to try and go for the cleanup. He finds Sax, a killing spree now for the Slark. Mikra throws out a Shaco, won't last, they jump forward on Mado, the crush comes out from EGM. Bambo coming back in with the Avalanche toss, but Mado is just working away, he's got 12 essence just stacks up they look to jump forward and find each end, doesn't even do it, he just jumps over his dead body. So it's a 3 for 3 at the moment. Matter of move from what blinks in. Oh god, run. Oh, Rambo and Nikra just on the retreat. They did manage to find a fair few kills in return, but the fact that Slark, they just can't kill him. He's got the Aegis, and he's now got 4.5k gold on top of the Scardi. So that team fight, the, the Gyrocopter essentially tanked everything. He's like, alright, Bambo, you're gonna get the Aegis, right? Bambo's like, I'm gonna try. And he messed up. That's, I mean, that's such a bamboo play. You throw your entire team under the bus, and then you go for an individual play. But uh, you know, it's how do they kill this slot? They're not killing him twice. They I mean, they just weigh out the Aegis, I guess. Yeah, he's gonna have MKP very shortly as well. Is he's he's gonna the send the Aquila here. Yeah, he sells the Aquila. He's got the money for the Demon Edge, and yeah, Javelin's already on the courier. So that's the MKB coming out now to matter. Something else that. I just uh, gonna be very careful about fighting him too. If you're four clovers and maybe uh, maybe the play is uh, you let look, a matter. Look how ballsy he wants to go now. Yeah, He's I mean, going in on his own here. He just because uh, oh, even get a chance to get the grave. He does get the grave. TP. There's <laughs> your Benny Bash. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And uh, he says thanks for the essence shift stacks. Up to 23 now on the slot. We'll see if he can manage to find anything else. Four clovers themselves. The rest of the team are actually looking for something towards the top room. Seeing if they could maybe make a movement into the jungle, but NLG, they're actually in the Radiant jungle at the moment. And oh, it's going to be a little bit time. The Shackle Shot comes through. Well, that's better, of course. Mado did get the dart packed off in time to remove it, and there's your Fiend Script onto EGM. Mado moves in, takes down one. Unstoppable streak now here for the slot. And Nikra is trying to run, he's trying to hide. Is there going to be a bash in time? Oh, no, there's not. Mado didn't get the first hit bash, though, the MKB. But nonetheless, this slot is. Pretty scary, and four Glovers, I think they'll be having nightmares after what he's done to the side so far. Yeah, the, the goal of this Tiny is able to kind of pick up random stragglers here and there, but if they're grouping up so tightly together, and everybody's so tank, how do you actually jump into NLG here? I don't know, I don't know. Four Glovers are going to need to find an answer though, because they're always the tier 2 here in the mid lane. They're trying to put a bit of pressure going up top. They've got Tiny, Bambo, and Pycat and the Jar hanging around towards the top lane. And LG, they're just going to be uh, persistent yeah. here in the mid lane. They want to use this Aegis effectively. Yeah. They know that the uh, Force CL is trying to time it out. So they're going to try to get as much tower damage as oh, possible. Oh, Mado, just go straight in. Look at the region. Oh, just five comes out there now with the Sonic Wave. One to two, there's a cooldown. Oh, Mado's found one. He may find more. Shadow Dance comes out. They can't quite burst the slot down here. He's going to be fine. Bambo tries to bring the Static Storm. Starling coming along with the Hero. Oh, oh, my god, that wasn't real. But managed to pop the Aegis here on the slot. He won't have the Shadow Dance when he's back up, and he might not care. He just blinks himself out straight away. Jackal Shot isn't going to latch here. Matter just jumps away from this fight. 
Will look to get himself out for the time being. Bambo, he came forward there, got the toss combo onto the Spartan Io. And now he's going to be able to TP out in the tree line. They couldn't quite cancel it and find the vision in time. So they do manage to defend the base there, Phil Clovers. And they they're the lost. Bane and they take the ages. Yeah. yeah. They get the Bane, they get the Wisp, they lost the Slaughter. So I say all things considered a very well fought defense for, for, for CR. More importantly, we have Shadow Blade on top of the Tiny now. So suddenly, okay. the. I mean, he's already a very menacing beast, but now you got the trifecta of mobility items, and that will force out a gem purchase from the Disruptor. Alright, now he's going to be the Basher, as you mentioned uh, earlier for the Slark now. So, Skull Basher, Monkey King Bar. This man's certainly punching, but it relies on him staying alive. And, we, and as we saw just there, four Clovers, they do have the capability of killing the Slark. He did also dive into, like... He did dive very aggressively yeah. for the Aegis. So I, I don't look for him making that play when he does not have the Aegis. Bambo, Top lane. Is he going to make the jump? It's going to be a risky one to do so because no logic gaming out there, Bambo. If they see him here, Nikos moving in, but they're going to get there. Static Storm has game preemptively dropped Maddo and moving forward. Please come on to Nikos. Sonic Wave on to oh two. God. They'll find one. They'll be able to find Saxa here as well as they do. Two kills so far. Bambo's going to go down. It's a double oh kill God. for the godlike Slark. And. So that was a very unfortunate timing for Force to go. They yeah. got Glimmer as well as a Shadow Blade. They think that they thought they were safe. They did not realize that Gem was per just purchased. So, you know, Milan picking a good time to pick up the Gem and well, three kills and they need a buyback to defend the space. Yeah, they, they're certainly going to need to, but they haven't. They're all unavailable at the moment. These three heroes. And uh, we'll see if off the back that NRG are able to try and take a set of racks in the mid lane. Matter of moving forward, ready to start the front lining. Ready to get the go ahead onto the tier 3. Back up there as well. Radiant Static Storm still on cooldown after that last fight here from the line. There's no glyph. Yeah, they're not even going to need it. Well, they need the glyph. They're not going to need, <laughs> they're they're not gonna need the Static Storm. Uh, but yeah, the glyph. But they certainly needed that for Clovers. And they'll find the melee racks. That's the ones they're looking for. Agadins has now been picked up by Nikra, but I know she looked to play this one safe, just back up. And looks like uh, Spartans making the shots here on the map, looking for the Delta Split. They want to send Mitch up to the top lane by looks of it to get that lane starting to push in. Want to send the rest down towards the bottom. Bambo. Let's see if he goes for anything here. Just going to want to stick with the team at this point. And I guess Shiva's guard is going to be the next item for uh, for this quad. And yeah, they've got the Mystic Stealth as well, so just going to have a recipe there for Excalibur. And it's going to be smoke up here from Four Clovers. Yeah, so so the job here for Four, four Clovers is actually to remove the Bane or the Disruptor yeah. at the beginning of the fight. Bane so that uh, the Gyro doesn't get locked down, or the Wind Ranger doesn't get locked down. Or the Disruptor to take away the gem, because Four CL relies on invisibility to actually stay alive in teamfights. But... I believe NLG is aware of the smoke and considering that mid is heavily pushed in and there's nobody defending it. Yeah, and they, 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 yeah. they don't find anything with this four clovers. NLG themselves are now going to come back out of the base as four clovers reveal. Reveal some of themselves down yeah. bottom. And there's going to be a smoke from NLG as well in turn, so we'll see if they're going to be a little bit more successful with their own smoke. Excalibur leading the way. And again. In certain looks like four clovers, the ones to play it safe apart from Bambo. Oh, they're playing here, we'll get the blink out just in time. Glimpse. Ah, yeah. There we go, they've got him. BKB's actually been popped by Mitch as well to ensure that he can get the lockdown. But everyone needs to use the Fiend's Grip here and he doesn't. Saves it for the next fight. And that's Bambo down for over a minute. He does not have buyback here on the tiny. And they're just bringing Madara back onto the side of this lane, starting to get their bottom pushed round. And there's an Abyssal Blade completed on the Slark here as well. You can see the difference at the moment. The majority of that difference pretty much being in the pocket of the Slark, who's a good 10k ahead of PyCat's Gyrocopter at this point of the game. Yeah, PyCat just used Calldown for farming up top, so... This tier 2 is definitely forfeited, and I believe NLG will get the tier 3 before the cooldown of cooldown comes back on as well, so... NLG looking to close this game out. And add a point into the Dream League standing. Yeah, they're looking to be in a very good position in this game. Four Clovers, they're going to need a big, big defense to hold this one back. 20 seconds still without Bambo's tiny. Matter is straight in. He was even thinking about potentially blinking, and we've seen how, how much of a matter oh, he does. He, he literally just blinked straight into Saxa. Saxa getting deleted, doesn't have a chance to get any of his spells out. 
and then it up back now to the tier three. Amaro continues to push. He's going to be almost certainly ready to just blink in, and then the dares come close. Fortification comes out. Bambo with the Shadow Blade trying to get himself in position for the initiation. Nika, he's going to find the Shackle Shadow, but the Dark Power's out in time. Bambo getting tossed forward, and uh, okay, he's going to wait flies through onto oh, two. Charo's down, Tiny's down, EGM, he's probably going to go down here as well. Nika runs into a slug, he gets the bashes out. The last man standing here, EGM, he'll be taken out as well. It's a full team wipe here for the side of NLG. And we keep harking on about the slot, but he really has just been the issue the whole game. 17 kills, 13 assists, one death, and GG's called. And there we go, uh, absolute bang on performance there from the side of NLG. Four Clovers, they had the high points, but they just never had anyone on the same level as Farmers this slot. Yeah, they couldn't deal with the slot, apart from the one random pickup. Yes. You need to kill him. I don't know how they could, but uh, the game was not close because they could never deal with the slug. Yeah, I ended up about 11k ahead of the, the Pycat gyrocopter. The slug certainly got out of hand, to say the least. And now would you game him? Take the win against Four Clovers. So, with that in mind, I mean, do you feel Four Clovers can come back and, and take a game against this side? Or, or do you feel that Nerd Edge Gaming are just the stronger team here? I don't think NLG is a stronger team. Okay. I felt like they just outplayed 4CL that game. The scary thing is that 4CL, to me, got the draft he wanted. Yes. They like having that.